Let's get you a live update, get you a sense of what you need to make of this. Atim Tongana is part of our team watching the story, and she joins us now live from Cape Town. And Ati, first it was the language, right? It was a shutdown. Now we appreciate that it's a protest. But secondly, a number of organizations have now started pulling out, including Sanko and the ANC in the Western Cape. There are certainly a lot of developments around this demonstration that has been planned ultimately to drive forward the concerns of the taxi industry that obviously end up affecting many communities and commuters that rely on mini bus taxis. Now, the developments that we are receiving at this moment, based on an interview that the Economic Freedom Fighters in the Western Cape had this morning on Newsroom, the ANC has come out to tell us that they are pulling out based of what was said in the interview. And I think one of the issues that they raised is the phrasing and the dubbing of this particular demonstration, saying that they do not want to be affiliated with a shutdown in particular. But I do have the ANC in the Western Cape to explain the reason why they have pulled out of this multi-party uh, demonstration for the 2nd of uh, October. Dadu Jabu, thank you so much for your time. The issue around your pulling out, can you clarify to our viewers why the ANC is not going to be part of this demonstration? Um, thank you, Ati, for the opportunity. Let me take this opportunity to greet the viewers. The African National Congress is opposed to, is not participating into the march tomorrow. Uh, you have clarified it quite very well. But in our understanding, the march is supposed to be a multi-party march. You know, in this regard, in your interview this morning, uh, which necessitated us, us that is we meet with all the partners that are supposed to be part of the march. The march was reported as an EFF march, you know, and then it was reported as a shut down where commuters must not go to work and then all sorts of things. Now those are anti, they are not representing what the African National Congress stands for. We believe in a peaceful march, uh, we believe in a freedom of association that our people must be allowed because with regard to the agreement that is, uh, you have it with yourselves uh, between Santaco and the, Santaco and other, and, 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 and the what called Western Cape government. It really stipulates that is Texas, the transport is going to be normal tomorrow. Now, at no stage that is, we're supporting Santiago and then was then saying that is, uh, then there must be a stay away, people must not go to work. Now, on those basis, we felt that is an African National Congress, we cannot associate ourselves with something that is uh, clearly uh, leads us to something that we don't know. We are part of this multi party uh, you, you, you know, uh, planning demonstration. But when one of the partners goes in public and gives a total different, you know, message in public, it calls us to really rethink our participation in the march. Uh, quickly, as I let you go, will you reconsider joining this demonstration, particularly tomorrow? Because in the press briefing, the EFF clarified that it is no longer calling it a shutdown, but a demonstration. It's not the first time that we have clarified that it's, the, it's a peaceful march. And we have said that the damage this statement that has actually created is really uh, difficult to remedy it now. You know, it calls for us to move back and go and assess ourselves and see how we engage further with the FF and see. But this is not the one in the last activity that we think it will take place during the course. But we cannot, in this kind of you know uh, messaging that have gone out, participate in this much. Thank you so much for your time, Jabu Umfusi, the uh, PAC, PEC member of the ANC in the Western Cape. I'm going to pr quickly bring in some few other stakeholders. Unati Ndame, the chairperson of the EFF in the Western Cape, it is at the back of your statements on Newsroom calling it a shutdown that the ANC is saying that they're now pulling out. What is your reaction? No, they are effectively pulling out because we said it's an EFF march. The reason we say it's an EFF march, it's an EFF that applied in the city of Cape Town to demonstrate to end up in. We have never hidden that. We want to support the taxi associations against impoundment. So they are sensitive. We don't think they are being honest with the reasons that they are giving to you. Surely they have received any instructions to pull out. That's what now they are looking for any type of a reason to, to justify this instruction that they were given. They are, not being, they are not being honest because it has never been political parties. It has always been 
the, the unjust uh, impoundments that are happening. It has been always been a systematic victimization of the of the taxi industry, and it has always been a systematic seeking of dissolution, d- dissolving the taxi industry and. Uh, replacing it with my city and Golden Arrow. So it has never been the uh, ANC versus V EFF, no. By the way, the EFF is very much ready for tomorrow. The EFF is going to stage this protest. We are going ahead uh, with whoever is still with us. We are going ahead. Our people are ready, by the way, because it's not only the people of the EFF that will be there. We know that the comrades of Sanko were here and they want to be part of the march and they said that they are still resolute in, in, in that approach. So we do not mind. It is just unfortunate that everything that the NC has been telling us is coming to, to pass now because people said we shouldn't trust them. Uh, speaking about Sanko, I need to also clarify, I under to our viewers that we had a breakaway faction of Sanko that was part of the press briefing. And during that press briefing, we received a press statement coming from Sanko, clearly the provincial secretary uh, not aligning themselves with the stance that the breakaway faction of Sanko uh, aligning themselves with this particular demonstration. I'm sure I'm running out of time, but the people's movement for change, have you pulled out? Are you still part of the demonstration? Uh, the People's Movement for Change has pulled out of the march. Uh, we don't want to be part of a, a multi-party conflict and, and, and issues. So therefore, we are the servants of the people. Uh, when we do things, we do them properly and we do them on behalf of the people. However, we are still in support of the taxi industry's plight. So uh, I just want us to be clear that uh, the People's Movement for Change will not be participating in tomorrow's match. Thank you so much. I'm sure I'm running out of time. Well, there you have it, I under the development insofar as the build-up to the demonstration that is expected to take place tomorrow in protest against many issues that are centered around the impoundment of minibus taxis here in the Western Cape. Tell you what, Ati, they say 24 hours is a long time in politics. Try an hour. So much has changed since uh, we started following the story at around 12 o'clock, and we'll see how it all unfolds by tomorrow. Atim Tongana, that's just there from Cape Town.